Good afternoon all. This afternoon I've got this really, really nice Mercedes-Benz 220SE. Quite old, as you can see. It's, um, it was originally like a burgundy colour. Well play worn. Um, got silver wheels. Bottom's not too badly scratched. So what I intend to do is when I drill the rivets out, I'm going to leave the bottom. I don't mind a little bit of play worn patina. Um, axles are a little bit rusty, but it's going to be in my um, display cabinet. So yeah, no, I'm not going to ruin it. Um, the axles are quite tight fitting, so it would be a bit of a pain to try and round off those ends afterwards, especially as they're sank in. No, yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm adamant. I mean, quite often I do leave the bottoms. It's not. It's only a little bit of chipped. Um, I can always get a bit of wet and dry and just gently rub, I mean, it's only surface rust that will actually come off with a little bit of yeah, that will come off so what I'm going to do is um, I've got a 4 mil drill bit I'm just going to drill, drill out these rivets and we're going to separate the model the uh, plastic insert is in remarkable condition for its age it's one very minute little scratch if you can see that, if it will focus just about there other than that, excellent condition. But it's just a shame about the paint job. I have got a very similar colour to this in a spray can somewhere. Want to find it? Oh, heck, where's that gone? I did a Rolls Royce with it not so long ago. Oh, I see it. There we go. Right, so. That's the colour I did, the silver shadow, the other day. Um, a burgundy. Ford burgundy red. Uh, a couple of quid for a can. That's an acrylic high coat spray can, so I'll put that there to remind me. So, without further ado, let's uh, drill out these rivets. As I've only got 20 minutes left. And this will probably be a two-parter as normal. So as you've seen me do this dozens of times, I'm just going to very gently drill out that rivet. Because as you can see, those rivets are quite close to the surface. So I don't really want to drill too far. And ruin the chassis. So I want to be able to clip it back together and probably with a little bit of super glue snap it back together so what we'll do is just with my screwdriver just very gently try and tease it out which I think is going to be a little bit more drilling involved so I don't want to go too deep I'm going to do this off camera Have a look. All right, let's drill a little bit more out. There we go, there's the front, and hopefully, and there's the back. Bingo Stingo. Ew, Christ knows what that is. Uh, <laughs> let me just. I've got one of those magnifying lights here with a lens in it. I'm just going to have a quick look. Yeah, that used to be a bug of some description. Yuck. Gross. So, that's it. That's that's the bottom bit off. Nice bit of strung alloy. It's quite thick. I don't know if I... I mean, a lot of the modern cars got this cheap plastic inserts and the bottom of the I mean this is an old Land Rover a Matchbox Leslie Land Rover a number 12 Land Rover Safari and they went to these horrible cheap plastic chassis now this one has been snapped in half and I've tried resin gluing it with baking soda but it's uh, it's still a bit distorted it's a bit twisted so what I'm going to do in the end is probably just use it for spares 
someone painted the insert and they've also customised the outside but that's going to be a spare so no nice strong metal chassis now to get the um oh my god there's more of these dead bugs in here Christ knows what they were once so there we go that just pops out filthy absolutely minging that is probably bug poo in there or something and there again oh my god this hang on ah what was that oh bollocks of doors just falling off right one of the doors i didn't realize i forgot it was on hinges one of the doors has just fallen off and bounced around my workshop so give me two seconds i need to retrieve it it's going to be here somewhere right there's the little bugger there yeah i forgot these are on very basic hinge mechanisms i don't know if you can see that so you've got uh, on the door itself and i'll get this poxy camera to focus and then on the inside of the car you've got like a little pillar just there and uh, this door basically hinges in around I keep dropping stuff I swear oh my Christ sorry for those who are religious but I do blaspheme quite a bit as I don't believe in all that crap so yet yeah, the door hinges very basically onto that little pillar thus enabling it to open and close so what I've got to do I hate doing models with doors on it means I've just got to spray two little tiny fiddly flipping doors as well as the body now what do I do do I paint strip it or do I use my favorite caustic soda paint stripping usually takes a little while so yeah I think I use the old caustic soda now what I might actually do is these pillars are quite deep I'm just toying with the idea of actually drilling it out I'm just wondering will that snap to get actually no I'm not gonna that snaps together really firmly so no I'm not gonna drill it that's going to be quite as it's only going to be in the display cabinet i'm just going to um snap it together with a little bit of super glue no need to uh, drill that out at all so that'll save me about 15 minutes and also means you don't get bored watch me do it over and over again so what i'm going to do is just get myself some warm soapy water wash the plastic insert and then i'm going to boil the kettle and uh Drop some caustic soda into my jar. With the two doors. Okay, so just bear with me and I'll be back in a tick. So there's my warm soapy water. So I'm going to plop in the plastic insert and the windscreen. And I've got a very soft electric toothbrush tip spare one has been in my gob all the wife's you don't want anything that's been in her mouth dirty girl dirty anyway so I'm just going to give this a quick clean uh, get rid of all the bug shit and the whatever else it was two big hairs Ooh, no whatever it is the kettle's just boiled so I'll be doing the old uh, where the hell do I put that and on there? Oh shit, that's a trouble with clear plastic. When you put it in hot wa uh, water, you don't always find... Oh my, what's that on there? So give that a bit of a scrub as well. Doesn't need a lot of pressure. Just gets rid of the 50 odd years of dirt and grime and crust. That's what else has been thrown at it. And once I plonk this into the old furniture polish, you should have a nice shiny gleam on it. So that can go there. 
drama hands and I'm just going to go and fit, tip this away now and I'm going to go and get some hot water caustic soda in there just bear with me and we pause okay so the caustic soda is bubbling away I did a I'm going to admit it but don't laugh I picked up what I thought was the caustic soda but it wasn't it was paint stripper and I dumped that in the hot water instead so the model's now got paint stripper only a little bit and caustic soda on it so if that doesn't clear the stuff off nothing will now just a word of warning in the past I have actually added water to the caustic soda in the jar where in fact it's probably a little bit safer if you just put the water in first leave it for a minute or two to cool down and then just very gently shake a little bit of the caustic soda on top. Although if you put too much on in one time, it will just act like a volcano and come on over the top. So you don't want that. Because if that stuff gets on you or in your lungs, as I've said time and time again, your brown bread, son, or well, you're in trouble. Right, so those two are nice and clean. So I'm just going to go and retrieve the model from the caustic soda and it's very important that you rinse it off under the tap afterwards otherwise you you get residue and when you come to clean it it's going to be horrible okay so we're back um i've rinsed it off it's looking a bit yucky in there um my toothbrush is melted so whatever potion i made outside good job i did it outside because you don't want to do that inside you need a very very ventilated area well ventilated area so that's the model looking a bit gooey I'm gonna have to rinse it off again so up there and the doors uh, in here, I need longer forceps. I'll just use my other toothbrush, you pellet. So, grab the doors one. Now, if you're doing it, I've used the kitchen to rinse this off, the kitchen sink. Now, whatever you do, don't do what I did once, and you're going to laugh at this, although I didn't. Whereas as I was rinsing, rinsing it off, I forgot that I was doing a model with a couple of doors and I washed the bloody things down the sink. And do you think I could find them? They went straight around a flipping new bend, never to be seen again. So I had to try and locate a donor model with two doors on it. So what I'm going to do now is just go and get some more soapy water and just rinse that model off. So bear with me. Right, so there's the warm soapy water. Yeah, nice. So I'm just going to dunk that in there and the two doors. Leave them for a few minutes and just give them a bit of a rinse. Oof. And I'll move those over there, out of the way. Stop them getting damaged. Right, so again, I'm going to use this brush here and just go over the model. Just get rid of any of that horrible residue. I've already rinsed it off about five times under a hot tap. There's still a bit of caustic soda and paint stripper. I can't believe I did that. I fancy doing that. I have my glasses on as well. What a pillock. What an absolute donut. So, hopefully... What an absolute ball end. That's looking better. Oh, look at that, mate. Eh? 
got about seven minutes left so I've shown you a bit more of the cleaning process like I said it is imperative absolutely 100% essential you get any residue of paint strip or whatever chemical process you use off these models otherwise when you go to spray it it ain't happening it's just gonna flake right off again and also when you're using your wire brush or whatever cleaning process you use to buff up the actual alloy if there's small minutes of residue chemicals on that metal and it gets into your face or in your eyes you'll know about it right so that water's quite mucky so that's that for the minute so i'm just going to empty that out and dry off the model so here we are the model is completely stripped of all paint and residue so i shouldn't have any issues now looking at it it's uh, not too badly detailed actually decent bit of grill headlights this will all get painted chrome silver because i've got a new flashy look at that hey 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 cost me about seven flipping quid chrome paint marker and it works a treat did my uh, mercury cougar engine in it and it came out brilliantly so yeah that will get uh, painted up uh, what i normally do is do the rear lights on some of these but um, it's going to be burgundy so we won't really show if i do them red i might even just do the chrome up the bumper as well make it look a little bit snazzy as it's a mercedes i like to just add my own little touch to these models just so they stand out they're never going to get sold again not unless my kids do it when i'm brown bread oh sorry that's um cockney rhyme slang for dead if you're not from around that area um as my old dutch would say so that's it that's all i'm going to do for that at the time being again i'm not going to touch that um so just quickly i've got a couple of minutes left that's going to be my next project i'm going to look for some doors on ebay in a minute i'm not going to touch the model otherwise i think it's got a great play patina it's hardly damaged at all clean up the inside i'm just going to find some replacement doors obviously on this uh, it's, a, it's on tabs so i can just separate the bottom as you can see there's a tab there at the back and there'll be one located right there but it's got little rac and aa badges and if i paint strip it it's all going to come off and i'm going to lose it and with my eyesight i will never be able to paint it again so i'm just going to pop it apart release the tabs get myself a couple of doors now I'll, I, I won't be able to match this paint up no way on hell so i'm going to think about a color if anybody's got any suggestions what color to do the doors i'm thinking maybe hmm, a white or no, maybe another greenish, I don't know, but I'm not going to be able to match up the colour doors. And another little proje pro project or project, if you're from Australia, is a 1968 Volkswagen Beetle, 1500 saloon, year I was born, 68. I'm just going to clean it up. I'm not going to do anything with it. I might find another replacement decal for the front, but I don't think it needs painting, really. I quite like that. Like I said, I might just pop it apart and clean up the base and the front. But I might actually leave the colour. I quite like that colour. It's got a little bit of bubbling on the paint. As you can see, just there. So, yeah, I'm on and on about that one. Indecise. So that's it for the minute. So, the next time you see this lovely Mercedes-Benz, I would have cleaned it with my little wire brush using my rotary tool. That will be absolutely gleaming, as will the doors. I'm going to primer it and then spray it burgundy. So the second video you will see this a nice burgundy colour and the doors. And I shall show you um, how I reassemble it probably. Which will be quite quick and easy. Um, in the meantime, looking at this, I don't think I really need... I might just give it a quick dip just to hide any of these small, very small scratches. Or I might just polish it out. I'm not too bothered because it is quite an old model and apart from the colour I think the screen looks good. So there you go, that's it for the minute. So I'm going to take off my 
gloves I used for spraying my car in yesterday, the, the Mercury Cougar, that's what the green was. And uh, that's it, so I hope you enjoyed that. I shall post this on the Matchbox website and the Matchbox Lesney website on Facebook, so anybody can watch it um, if they wish to. Um, so that's it, I haven't got much else to say. I'm babbling on here, so I'm going to foxtrot Oscar and uh, see you next time. If I'm really adventurous, I might get my son to hold the camera and show you how I spray it. Who knows? So stay tuned for the next enthralling episode. I'll feed for now. Bye. If I can turn the bloody camera off.